Well, we've come to the last formal presentation of our time together here. 我哋誒正式嘅聚會咧，差唔多都啊，即係嘅講題都差唔多嚟到最尾一一一段時間，係咪 ？And you may have noticed that、uh, the title is slightly different from what's in the program. 啊，你發覺咧係啊，唔該曬，冇錯。你發覺到咧，我哋嗰個嘅啊。打喺嗰個熒幕上嘅題目咧，同你喺節目單嗰個咧係有啲出入，係咪啊 ？I was going to talk about the everlasting gospel. This one is more more focused on the everlasting covenant. They're related, obviously. 本來咧，我哋又想講呢個嘅永遠嘅福音㗎，而家咧就有少少唔同，就係講個永約啦，永遠嘅約。But in some discussions I had on Friday. I thought that this more focused presentation might be a little more helpful. 咁喺星期五晚嘅時候咧，我就誒發覺到咧，可會唔會係咁樣改變，係對大家更有幫助咧 ？Because there is a lot of way, different ways of understanding the Bible prophecies of the Old Testament, specifically in relation to the nation of Israel. 嗱，我諗或者咧，我哋從呢一個角度咧去。理解個預言咧，可能又有另一番嘅意思喎嚇。即係特別咧，就係話咧，我哋將預言同以色列人啊嘅命運啊嚟到連埋咧，可能又有另外一種意義嘅。So let's first sort of orient ourselves about two main views that exist today in the Christian world toward the nation of Israel. 啊，目今咧，我哋誒基督教界咧。對以色列人嘅睇法咧，係主要有兩個大嘅唔同嘅係誒睇法嘅。They're related to two different ways of looking at salvation and how God saves people。啊，呢兩種方法咧，就係話俾我哋聽，上帝佢嘅救贖咧，係有兩個唔同嘅睇法嘅。人係對呢個上帝救贖兩個唔同睇法啊，等等。One view。有一種嘅睇法咧，誒，我試，呀，阿明啊，呀 ，OK，dispensational theology 係叫做咧係時代主義嘅神學。This is the view that basically God works with different people in different ages or dispensations。啊，佢係講到咧，上帝嘅計劃咧係會喺唔同嘅時代。係針對唔同嘅人咧，而有所改變同埋調整嘅。And he makes covenants with them accordingly in those different dispensations。啊，佢亦都會係喺呢啲唔同嘅時代咧，係同人咧係立唔同嘅約嘅。So for example, they speak of the Adamic covenant, the Noahic covenant, the Mosaic covenant, and so on. 啊、uh, ，有所謂咧，係同亞當立嘅約啦，上帝同羅亞立嘅約啦，同摩西立嘅約等等嘅。But in regard to Israel, the way it、uh, is applied is that God basically has two different plans of salvation: one for Jews and one for Christians. 啊，咁樣咧，尤其是中間最重要就係上帝對以色列人啊，包括猶太人咁啦嚇嘅救恩嘅方法咧。就同上帝對我哋嘅咁樣方法咧，係有所唔同嘅。There's almost no overlap. These are like two totally separate or parallel systems of salvation through history. 呢兩種嘅唔同嘅睇法咧，中間咧係冇任何重疊嘅，係完全兩種喺歷史裏邊咧兩種完全唔同嘅上帝救人嘅方法嘅。So God saves Jews in one way, and He saves Christians in a different way. 即係話上帝拯救猶太人係一種方法。但係拯救以色列人咧，就用另外一種方法嘅。Covenant of grace and covenant of law， 就係所謂嘅係恩典嘅約咧，同埋律法嘅約啦。Second、uh, and approach to this is called covenantal theology。但另一種嘅係進路咧，就叫做呢個係盟約嘅神學啦。God has one plan。呢個呢種神學裏邊咧，上帝只有一種嘅計劃嘅啫。He saves people the same way throughout all ages。就話上帝咧，佢喺整個歷史裏邊咧，只係有一種救人嘅方法。Same for all peoples。啊
同一种方法咧，系拯救所有嘅人嘅。And that plan has never changed。而呢一个咁嘅计划咧，都一路冇改变过嘅。Because God does not change。系因为上帝系一个唔改变嘅上帝啊嘛。He deals with everyone on the same basis throughout history. Doesn't matter where we come from or who we are. 咁咧，上帝咧，佢对所有嘅人咧都系一致嘅，就唔会系睇下我哋系唔同嘅时代啊。唔同嘅人啦，咁就会用同一方法嚟对待我哋嘅。So， 啊、uh, ，所以 the, the church then 教会系点咧 ？Is connected with Israel in the Bible？ 嗱喺圣经里边咧，似乎教会同埋以色列咧有关联，系咪 ？Under this、uh, second option， there's there's not a strong separation between Israel and the church。There's there's a connection。咁所以呢种第二种嘅睇法咧，教会同埋。猶太人之間咧就冇咩太大嘅分別嘅，之間係搏住落嘅。And we'll talk more about that。啊，跟住我哋會講多啲嘅。But first we have to understand what the Bible says about Israel itself。不如我哋先睇下聖經點樣講以色列人啦。And we know of course that this is based on God's promises to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob。嗱，係基於咧上帝對亞伯拉罕、以撒、雅各嘅應許嘅喎。And these passages you see Abraham in yellow, and those passages in yellow are the promises to Abraham。好啦，你見到呢度咧，有啲經文係咪用黃色嘅經文咧？上面用翻黃色寫住亞伯拉罕啊，即係同佢有關嘅嗰啲經文啦。And the off-white uh, uh, text refers to Isaac, Genesis 26。咁咧，白色嘅經文咧就同以撒係有關嘅。And the orange, of course, then is a reference to Jacob. 咁啊，橙色嘅嗰啲经文咧，就同雅各有关嘅。And if you compare all three of these passages, well, all three of these groups of passages, let's say. 如果你系比较呢三种颜色嘅经文咧 ，you will find that they all speak of three basic promises that were made. 咁啊，讲到三个基本嘅系应许嘅喎。First, a gift of land. 就係、是、有關土地嘅應許嘅。God told Abraham, walk around and see all this land I will give you。咁啊，上帝叫我喺四圍帶住佢四圍睇，就話我會將整個呢個地咧係俾你嘅。Second, that his descendants would be like the stars, like the sand。佢話你嘅後代咧就會好似天上嘅星，海邊嘅沙咁多。Really countless。係數唔盡嘅。Okay. And、uh, third. That、uh, there would be a blessing. Abraham would be a blessing to the nations. Abraham 咧就会成为诶使万国得福嘅一位。Abraham and his seed. Abraham 同埋佢后裔咧都会使万国得福。In you and your seed, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. This is the promise. 上帝应许话咧，你藉住你同你嘅后裔咧，万国都得福啦。Now this threefold promise is extremely important to keep in mind. 嗱呢三重嘅应许咧，大家要紧记住喎。When we think about Israel, 当我哋想到以色列嘅时候咧 ，because、uh, there are that you cannot take just one or two promises. They're a package. 你就唔可以啊，只系将呢三个应许嘅其中一个独立出嚟，因为佢哋系一个嘅系组件嚟嘅。Now, when we look at how the, these promises were fulfilled, 咁我哋嚟睇下呢三重嘅应许系点样应验咧。We see、uh, Moses、uh, being given the command and and connection with the entrance to the promised land, and also Joshua. 好啦，咁摩西咧就从头领领受到诶诫命啦，然之后咧就带佢哋去入迦南地啦，跟住有约书亚啦咁样。So through Moses and Joshua, this promise was brought to fulfillment. 好啦，咁啊，藉住摩西约书亚咧，咁佢哋就得地土嘅呢个应许咧就应验啦。In the initial sense of entering the land and conquering it. 系啦，即系喺乜嘢嘅嘅意义里边嚟讲咧？就喺入迦南同埋征服迦南嚟讲嘅。Now we are we are looking at this with a broad brush. I'm not going into all the details. 咁我哋咧睇一幅嘅比较粗嘅图画嘅，我哋冇话只系一一睇细节啦。Because clearly the way they entered the promised land was not God's plan A. It was His plan B. 其实咧，佢哋入迦南嘅情况咧，系唔系上帝嘅原本嘅计划 A 嚟嘅？系某种情况之下咧，系转咗成为计划 B， 但系都成功咗。You know, when they came to Kadesh Barnea, God said, "Go into the land." 
係啦，其實咧佢哋出埃及冇幾耐咧，上上咧就叫佢直接入去迦南得㗎啦。My angel will go before you。我嘅使者喺你前面帶路嘅。But they sent spies。咁佢哋就派一探子去啦，係咪？ And they came back with two reports: a majority report and a minority report. Then we come back with two reports: a majority report and a minority report. Then we come back with two reports: a majority report and a minority report. Then we come back with two reports: a majority report and a minority report. Then we come back with two reports: a majority report and a minority report. Then we come back with two reports: a majority report and a minority report. Then we come back with two reports: a majority report and a minority report. Then we come back with two reports: a majority report and a minority report. Then we come back with two reports: a majority report and a minority report. And then God said, "Well, then you're going to stay here forty years. You're going to die here in the wilderness." 好啦，咁样你哋就喺呢度逗留四十年，就喺呢度诶离开呢个世界。Your children will see. 反而你哋嘅儿女咧就会入到去迦南地。Of course, Joshua, Caleb, and Joshua, the two minority reporters, were an exception to that. 系啦，咁呢两个少数嘅报告嘅诶约书亚同迦南咧就有机会咧入到迦南噶啦。They entered the land. But there, there we could, you know, throughout this, there are much more we could say, but、uh, the time doesn't allow us to. Ah, 即系时间咧就冇话只讲得太详细啦。Two views of、uh, the of Israel in prophecy. 好啦，对于预言咧，呢两种嘅学说咧又有唔同嘅喎。With dispensational theology, we look at they look at prophecy as unconditional. God said it; it must. Be fulfilled always. 系啦，咁咧，对于嗰个时代主义咧，上帝应承咗嘅嘢咧，就一定会成功啊！无论嗰个环境点样，系冇条件的成功嘅。So all God's promises will be fulfilled literally. 而且咧，呢啲应验，呢啲上帝嘅应许咧，系会照字面咁应验嘅。They're unconditional. 无条件嘅。Now you you. Well, we'll come to that. Second, all the promises will be fulfilled literally in a restored Israel. 好啦，咁咧嗰个复兴嘅，即系就算你过去好似有啲预言应验咧，但系最后尾个复兴嘅以色列咧都会应验晒嘅。Now, of course, when the the nation of Israel, modern nation of Israel, was established in the Middle East, dispensational theologians became very excited. 好啦，當嗰個係誒現代嘅所謂以色列國咧，係建國嘅時候咧，就令到呢班時代主義者就好興奮啦。This seemed like a clear fulfillment of prophecy。咁咧就似乎咧係預言嘅誒好清楚嘅預言。The covenantal theology, on the other hand， 但係另一方面咧，嗰個盟約嘅神學點講咧 ？Looks at the promises and warnings of God。As always conditional. They think God's promises are good. They say, even if He says He will punish you, they are always conditional. Of course, the,、uh, the general passage we normally refer to is Jeremiah 18. Many people will use this in Jeremiah 18, where God says, I can, can I not be to you, O Israel, like the potter is to the clay? 就話咧，誒 Jeremiah， 誒 eighteen， eighteen， okay， eighteen， 啊 ，what what what verse？ Okay， verse six， verse six， okay， 啊，佢話咧，你睇下，佢同以色列人講，我對你哋就好似咧搖杖對於嗰啲泥咁啊。God of course is the potter and Israel is the clay。嗱，我咧就係搖杖噶啦，咁你係泥嚟嘅喎。And then he uses Uh, this, there's a principle in verses seven and eight, I think, that we're familiar with, as far as a negative promise. Uh, Jeremiah 十八章第 verse seven, right? Verse seven. Uh, Jeremiah verse uh eighteen. Verse seven. Eighteen. Uh, verse seven. Okay. Ah, he said, "I will make a land like a potter's field, and I will make it to be fruitful. Ah, 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 to be fruitful. But notice what happens in verse eight. If you know God says, "I will destroy you, that nation," but if it turns from its evil, I will not. He said, "But if they turn from their evil, I will not destroy them." And likewise, verse nine. If I say, "I will build and plant," I will not destroy them. And likewise, verse nine. If I say, "I will build and plant," I will not destroy them. And likewise, verse nine. If I say, "I will build and plant," I will not destroy them. And likewise, verse nine. If I say, "I will build and plant," I will not destroy them. And likewise, verse nine. If I say, "I will build and plant," I will not destroy them. And likewise, verse nine. If I say, "I will build and plant," I will not destroy them. And likewise, verse nine. If I say, "I will build and plant,"
。但系如果佢哋系唔听我行恶咧 ，I will not give the good I promised。我就唔会照应佢咁样赐福佢哋嘅。So here, this passage is very clear. I think that God's promises are conditional based on the nation's response. 即系话咧，上帝嘅应许个条件系乜嘢啊？就系嗰啲国度点样回应上帝嘅应许嘅。Now remember, we're talking about general prophecy. 我哋曾经讲过一般嘅预言，系咪 ？I talked on Friday about、uh, apocalyptic prophecy and that it、uh, follows a little different. 亦都講過一啲末世嘅語言，好多人用啟示啊呢個字，但我喜歡用末世嘅語言啊。咁咧就有少少唔同，呢種呢種語言有種唔同嘅性質嘅。We use different principles of interpretation, and the methods of Bible study document goes into more detail. 係啦，當我哋解釋呢兩種語言嘅時候咧，係有所不同嘅。Also, all the promises will be fulfilled, but they will maybe be fulfilled in a little different way based on the response of the nation. And the individuals concerned. 咁呢啲語言咧，佢應驗嘅時候咧，就會相對於啊嗰啲接受者嘅回應有所改變嘅。So in this case, fulfilled to a what I call a reconstituted Israel. 咁於是乎咧，係啊，我哋嘅講者就話咧，佢有一個叫做咧係重建嘅以色列。We'll have to talk more about that. 遲啲我哋會講下。One very important consideration is how did Israel begin? Where did it begin? 好啦，咁不如我哋又嚟睇下咧。以色列人佢哋系点样开始佢哋呢个国族嘅咧 ？Anyone? Where Where is the origin of Israel in Scripture? 以色列嘅来源喺边啊？边位可以答我哋啊 ？Jacob, exactly. 好，雅各，啱啦。Yes, this is very important point. 嗱，好紧要嘅喎呢个吓。You remember that he was coming back, returning to the promised land after spending some years getting married, having children, and and becoming wealthy. 系啦，咁咧雅各咧，佢要用之佢嘅一生好多经历啦。即系咩？佢又娶老婆，又生仔，又变咗有钱。He went out empty and came back full. 嗱，佢初初去佢舅父嗰度咧，就系两手空嘅，但系翻到嚟咧系啊满咗而归嘅。But of course, it wasn't a very Desirable homecoming that he anticipated. 即系虽然佢翻嚟嘅时候咧，都系有啲挣扎啦，即系唔系话即系好理想嘅情况啦吓。Because he had, of course, tricked Esau into selling his birthright, and then he also tricked、uh, his father in giving him the blessing. 佢又欺骗哥哥，又欺骗爸爸，咁所以咧，其实佢再翻嚟自己家乡都系有啲诶，即系有啲有啲叫叫下喺度咁嘅。So Jacob's older twin brother was not happy. Ah, his twin brother's older brother was not very happy. And Jacob was worried. So Jacob was worried. And of course, he had this struggle with the angel of the Lord. And he said, "I will not let you go except you bless me." He. Was aware of his sin, was was repentant and desiring God's forgiveness and blessing. He 其实就悔改噶啦，佢咧就系希望咧，上帝会系饶恕佢，系赐福佢。He knew he could not face Esau without God. 佢知道佢如果冇咗上帝咧，佢系冇办法去面对耶稣嘅。And so he wrestled all night. 所以成晚就喺度咧挣扎噶啦。And of course, we know that in the end. He received the blessing he sought. Ah, 最终于咧，佢系接受到呢个祝福嘅。And his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. 结果佢就改名为以色列。This tells us a great deal about what Israel means. 呢度已经讲埋咧，究竟系咩一回事？咩意思咧 ？It is that which describes a relationship with God, a spiritual relationship. Jacob was a literal descendant of Abraham. No problem with that. 系啊，雅各真系字面上都系真系呢个嘅诶诶亚伯拉罕嘅仔孙嚟噶喎。He even had the promise: the older shall serve the younger. 其实一早已言话咧，嗰个系大大嘅要服侍细噶嘛。But he thought the promise could only be fulfilled through his. Trying to grab it. 咁佢谂下呢个呢个咁嘅应许咧，可能要靠佢自己嘅挣扎先可以应验。Not as a gift. 
You see, that's that's the essential problem throughout, you know, the Bible with the covenant and the gospel. It's God's promise and it's God's gift. It's not something we can grab for ourselves. And so finally Jacob recognized this. And uh, was converted, we would say. So the purpose of Israel then, as a nation, is based on this concept of spiritual relationship with God. In Egypt already, before they left Egypt, they were to, uh, they asked Pharaoh for permission to go into the wilderness to worship God. That was their calling as God's people to worship Him. Not only so, but to be in relationship with Him, to be a separate people, holy people. And Exodus 19, verses 4 to 6, very important passage, one of the most important in the Old Testament to understand who Israel is. Oh, is this not working? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Somehow I thought uh, this was working, but... Uh, okay, so, I'll, um, so they were called to be His people, God's people. His holy nation. And uh, to show forth His righteousness, who He is, to, be a, a, to proclaim His goodness. Of course, you'll recognize that uh, this is also quoted by Peter in the New Testament. But the whole purpose of uh, God bringing them out of Egypt was to worship Him and to be His people. Was Israel's existence conditional? What would you say? Could they disappear? Well, let's look at Romans chapter 11. Here Paul deals with the very important question about the nation. He has just talked about how Israel has stumbled at the stumbling stone at the end of chapter 9, that they want to establish their own righteousness and not receive God's righteousness. And in chapter 10, verse 21, the last verse, all day long to Israel, God says, all day long I have stretched out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. And so Paul asks the logical question, has God cast away his people? And what's the answer? Certainly not. Very strong denial that God has cast away his people. Now, on what basis does he say that? Notice the very next phrase in verse 1. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Okay, Paul was a Jew. But not just any Jew. He was a believer in Jesus. That's a key point. So Paul is an example of those whom God has not cast off. Notice verse 29. 
。好，我哋睇下二十九节。For the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable。佢话因为上帝嘅恩赐同选召系不会撤回嘅。There was no question in God's plan that Israel would succeed。喺上帝嘅計劃當中咧，係冇問題嘅，以色列一定會成功嘅。They were to be a blessing for the world。佢哋真係會成為世人嘅福氣嘅。And that is unconditional。係無條件嘅。The only condition or question is who will compose Israel。問題就係以色列係包括啲咩人咧 ？Now that is a different matter。嗱咁就唔同啦。Uh, who belongs to Israel？ 邊啲人先至係屬於以色列人咧？ And that's conditional. In verses 22 and 23, Paul quotes Hosea. In this chapter, in verse 22 and 23, Paul quotes Hosea. In this chapter, in verse 22 and 23, Paul quotes Hosea. In this chapter, in verse 22 and 23, Paul quotes Hosea. In this chapter, in verse 22 and 23, Paul quotes Hosea. In this chapter, in verse 22 and 23, Paul quotes Hosea. In this chapter, in verse 22 and 23, Paul quotes Hosea. In this chapter, in verse 22 and 23, Paul Verse twenty-nine and verse twenty-five and twenty-six. Ah, 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 twenty-five and And he said, "You are not my people." Now, you are not my people. Amazing, amazing language. Is very strange. This language, right? And I am not your God. I am not your God. But here, then, in Hosea, he he promises restoration. But here, in Hosea, he promises restoration. But here, then, in Hosea, he promises restoration. But it is.、Uh, Also includes Gentiles, as Paul makes clear. But in this restoration, it includes the Gentiles. And that's why I will call them my people who were not my people. I will call those who were not my people as my people. So it's conditional on our response. So when we respond to this question, there are some conditions. In Jeremiah 7, verse 23. God says, "Obey my voice; I will be your God, and you shall be my people. And walk in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well with you." Jeremiah 话咧，你哋要离恶道，系听从我，咁就做我子民。Now, this is not obey in order to become my people. 嗱，你记住啊，唔系你因为你听上嘅话，所以你被。If you continue to obey, you will continue to be my people. 但系你要继续做我子民咧，你就要听话。You see, God called Israel into existence. This is a gift, remember, gift of grace, as with Jacob. 上帝喺万民当中拣选雅各嘅后裔咧，系无条件嘅，系一个恩赐。As with Abraham and Isaac. 啊，阿伯拉罕、以撒、雅各都系咁。It's a gift. 系一个恩赐。Now. We often talk about、uh, the land of Israel. 好啦，我哋时时讲到以色列地。But whose land is it according to the Bible? 根据圣经，呢块迦南地系。It was not theirs. It was not Israel's land. 原来呢一笪地唔系以色列地嚟嘅。It was in fact God's land. 系上帝自己嘅地。It's called the land of the Lord. 系话上主嘅地。And we therefore. Find how that is to be handled. 好啦，咁样点样处理呢个问题咧 ？It was a holy land. 系一个圣地。It's holy because it belongs to God, not anyone else. It's His land. 因为佢就系属于上帝嘅，所以佢系圣洁。And because it's holy and because it belongs to God, it was to keep Sabbath even. 因为佢系圣地，系属于上帝，所以里边嘅人要守安息日。It was to rest every seven years. They were not to plant. 仲有每第七年都要休息，让个地休息。And it could not be permanently sold. 你唔可以系咁啊撒种噶喎。It、um, if it was sold, there were specific provisions for it to be redeemed or bought back. 对唔住，你唔可以永远卖片一个地嘅。你卖咗之后咧，你要赎翻佢翻嚟噶喎。It could not be permanently sold. And even if it could not be bought back、uh, by anyone, 
at the time of Jubilee, it was to be returned. 就算你冇本事赎翻个地，去到第五十年禧年嘅时候咧，嗰块地都自动俾翻你嘅。So it, 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 these were the rules that God made for His land. 嗱，呢个就系上帝系为佢自己嘅地所定嘅律啦。I think probably you know people here in Hong Kong can understand this. 佢话我哋香港可能好容易明白。You know, it, it's not an exact parallel, but、um, Hong Kong belongs to China. 我哋中国咧系回归，我香港回归中国。Um, it was leased for a while by another system,、uh, uh, another country, another nation.、Um, but it wasn't, didn't belong to that nation. 即系我哋虽然有五十年嘅经济不变，但系我哋仍然系属于中国噶嘛。It belonged to China. 系啊，我哋香港系属于中国噶嘛。And when China wanted it back, well, 当中国要攞翻，咁就系中国噶啦。It returned. <laughs> okay.、Um, so something like that. With, it's not an exact parallel. Ah, 当然有啲唔同啦，但系你可以联想到，系咪 ？It was residence conditional. Residence in the land was conditional on obedience. 嗱，所以生活喺呢笪地上嘅人咧，佢哋都要系以服从作为条件嘅。That you could. Stay in the land as long as you remained God's holy people. 只有你继续系成为上帝嘅圣民嘅时候，你先可以住响圣地。Remember our definition of Israel. 嗱，明白以色列嘅定义系咩嘛 ？And how it was created. 佢做咗点样被建立噶 ？It's a created people. 佢哋系一班，即系上帝突然间选嘅人嚟嘅，唔系自己搞出嚟嘅。Created by God. And so, if you are willing and obedient, God says you will eat the good of land. 嗱，如果你继续顺从咧，你就可以食嗰个地嘅出产啦。But if you refuse and rebel, you will be devoured with the sword. 你如果系唔听话咧，刀剑就会临到你哋。Isaiah one nineteen. 以赛亚书一章九节，诶，十九节。And twenty. 二十节。So they could stay if they obeyed. If they didn't, they wouldn't. That simple. 嗱，你听唔听话，咁就你留唔留得低啊？咁简单啫。And of course, we know that that's Israel's history. 嗱，事实上系咁啊嘛，历史系咁啊嘛。They did not obey and they did not stay. 结果佢哋系冇顺从就被诶流放到其他地方。Northern Kingdom was wiped away. 首先系北国被系系系系掳系即系掳走去嘅。Babylon invaded the Southern Kingdom and eventually destroyed Jerusalem and the Temple. 好啦，跟住轮到巴比伦嚟到围攻呢个诶诶耶路撒冷，结果就灭咗佢。But that history was not totally dark. 不过咁嘅历史唔系完全黑暗嘅。Because God still planned something for Israel. But God's calling was unconditional. Because 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 God's calling Ten, ten. A chapter ten, verse twenty. Verse twenty, okay. 十章第二十节咧，佢话到那日咧，以色列所剩下嘅或者余民啦，系嘛，同埋雅各家所逃脱嘅咧，必不再倚靠啦，击打他们的，却要诚心仰赖耶和华以色列嘅圣者。And notice especially verse twenty-one. 第十一节 ，The remnant will return, the remnant of Jacob to the mighty God. 所剩下雅各家嘅余民就要归回全能嘅上帝。It's not just a return to the land. 嗱唔系净系翻去嗰个地喎。You study the Hebrew word shuv through the Old Testament is clearly envision a spiritual return, a return to God, a return to His ways. 其实更重要嘅系一个属灵嘅回归，回归翻同上帝嗰种生活方式。And a coming king would would establish righteousness. 一位将要嚟嘅王咧就要建立公义。Jeremiah twenty three. 耶利米誒二十三章。
a branch of David, verse 5. And in verse 6, he's called the Lord our righteousness. Yes. Of the line of David, verse, which verse 5 refers to. The previous verse refers to. So, now let's uh, notice a little bit more about this figure. In Isaiah, there are a number of songs that are called the servant songs. About God's servant, he says, he calls him my servant. And at first, this servant seems to be equal to the nation of Israel. Isaiah 41, verse 8. So clearly, descendant of Abraham refers to the nation, it seems. And uh, then we also see in chapter 42, verses 19 and 20. Verses 19 and 20. That the servant is blind and deaf. Verse 20, seeing many things, but you do not observe, opening the ears, but he does not hear. This is uh, also quoted uh, by Jesus, um, or alluded to. Uh, there's also an earlier reference in Isaiah 6, a similar. Hearing but, not, but closing your ears and closing your eyes, lest they be converted, turn. The word in that verse, by the way, is shuv again, return, lest they be returned and be converted. But as we read through the servant songs, it becomes clear that uh, it cannot just be Israel as a nation referred to. Because Isaiah 49 verses 1 to 5 talk about how this servant will bring Jacob back and gather Israel back to God. Verse uh, 6. So, not only Israel, but even a light to the Gentiles. So, this servant is not the nation because he's bringing the nation back to God. At the same time, it's also to be a light to the Gentiles, that the salvation of God might stretch to the ends of the earth. And in Isaiah 53, he is cut off. And at the end of verse 8, for the transgressions of my people he was stricken. So obviously, if it's for the transgression of God's people Israel, it cannot equal Israel. It's a servant separate in some way from Israel itself. As a nation. And that this, uh, because he dies for Israel's sin, as Israel's representative, he would be exalted. We're kind of racing through these prophecies. Much more could be said. Ezekiel 37. A very familiar passage. Israel sees a valley of dry bones. 
but not just dry, very dry. And uh, God asks Ezekiel, can these bones live? Well, he's not going to say no, but he, uh, he doesn't know how it can, he can say yes. Lord, you know. And then, of course, God promises that, uh, you know, uh, and he, Ezekiel sees before him what happens. These bones start coming together, and then f flesh and everything start, and, you know, p being put on it. And then uh, spirit is breathed into them. 是的,跟著你的感覺路連骨頭呢就含來砌翻好可憐,就來砍埋,將你皮砍上去,然後吹到暗黑去就變翻活人了。And they stand up and a great mighty army. 咁佢哋呢個呢啲復活就起身成為大隊軍隊喎。What an amazing picture of death to resurrection and life. 係復活等嘅圖畫由死變成復活變成係有生氣嘅。Of course Ezekiel witnessed the destruction of Israel. 其實 he saw the devastation. And he also was promised its restoration. That there would be one kingdom united under one king. But Israel's death and resurrection is also a, for a purpose. This resurrected or new Israel would teach the nations and in fact would have its doors open for the nations to join it. You look at Isaiah 66, there's even the promise that some could be part of the priesthood. And offer sacrifices. So nothing, no limitations in this new Israel. Nowhere does prophecy envision the reconstitution of Israel as a secular state. You see, Israel was meant to be a light to the nations, a light to the Gentiles. To teach them that through them all the nations of the earth would be blessed. And the only way that could be is if they were God's people. They, if they obeyed Him and, and if they were separated from the practices of the nations as his holy people. Now, if you look at Israel today, does Israel fit this description? It's, it doesn't. It's been struggling with this for uh, over half a century now, this, this uh, problem. There are some that want it to be a holy nation. And they sometimes have taken drastic, violent measures to try to hap make that happen. But Israel, when it was established and according to its constitution, is a secular state. Nation. There's coexistence of many religions. Of course, you know, you've got not just Judaism, but Christianity and Islam all coexisting in the nation. And so the current existing state could not be the holy people that God has in mind. Because it's established as a secular nation. But Israel, as we saw through the servant songs of Isaiah, dies and is resurrected and exalted. 
that Israel as a people may be resurrected and exalted. 係啦，佢哋食以作為人民咧，佢哋被復活同埋高舉嘅。And this is where we come, of course, to the new covenant. 好啦，而家嚟到一个跟住个观念咧，叫新约啦。A new Israel requires a new covenant. 一个新嘅以色列咧，就需要个新约嘅喎。As the representative of of Israel, Jesus lived and died and was resurrected. 作为新以色列嘅代表咧，耶稣真系死咗、复活咗，同埋被高举嘅。We could go into detail about how Matthew makes this very vividly clear. 我哋其实可以花时间去睇下马太佢点样系好仔细交代呢件事。Talks about how Jesus, as a child, was taken into Egypt. 佢讲到耶稣童年嘅时候被带到去埃及。And brought back out. 然后被带翻出嚟。That the prophecy might be fulfilled, the Hosea's prophecy. 以致何西亚书嘅预言可以应验。Out of Israel have I called my son. He said, "I want to call my son to come out of Egypt." Now some scratch their heads and say, "How can that apply to Jesus? That's talking about the nation." Oh, no! Some people say, "Hosea is talking about Jesus. He's talking about the nation." He's talking about the nation. 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 And he ratified the covenant with better sacrifice. He is recognizing that this is the new covenant. He is using his own better sacrifice. And so Hebrews 9:15 says that even the sins committed under the first covenant are the better sacrifice. And so Hebrews 9:15 says that even the sins committed under the first covenant are the better sacrifice. And so Hebrews 9:15 says that even the sins committed under the first covenant are the better sacrifice. And so Hebrews 9:15 says that even the sins committed under the first covenant are the better sacrifice. And so Hebrews 9:15 says that even the sins committed under the first Were redeemed by Jesus. 但系而家咧，呢个新嘅样咧，就系由耶稣个血去认准嘅。It wasn't the animal sacrifices. 唔系用动物嘅血。As Dr. D'Souza pointed out very clearly from the Old Testament, that the animal sacrifices were not some kind of payment for sin. 好似头先我哋讲啦，系嘛，就唔系话咧，系俾钱去赎罪嘅。They were an expression of faith. 系凭信心嘅。And obedience. Is obedience. Those two are really never separate. Actually, obedience and faith are never separate. True faith is always an obedient faith. 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 Based on the promise of the coming real sacrifice, 系基于嗰个应许要嚟嘅真正嘅牺牲，呢啲动物不过系嗰个象征啫。And through whom only forgiveness could be achieved, could be received. 只有嗰个真正嘅牺牲，我哋先可以得到赦免同埋救赎嘅。Because the blood of animals could never take away sins, it says in. 正系因为咁嘅缘故咧。那個血係唔可以救人。May I ask a very important question among us? Sorry for interrupting you. Since you are talking about the blood of an animal cannot clean, really clean. This is only a symbol, okay? Today, somebody struggle on the baptism. They can, they, they follow the Catholic and the Lutheran and say that the without baptism, nobody can be saved. Is that true? Well, it's a good question. Similar, right? It's a similar question. Let's let's、uh, postpone that question. It's a little bit involved. Let's postpone that question for、yeah. the question and answer time. Yeah, okay. What, But it's a very good question. Extract it. Okay. What? Yeah, 頭先提到咧，有啲人以為咧動物血可以可以可以洗罪啊嘛。同埋今日都有啲人以為係個洗禮咧可以洗罪嘅。咁佢話呢個非常相類似嘅問題，就留翻一陣間係問答，但係解答先答好嘛。I think what I have to say about baptism in just a few minutes, it will help explain. Maybe you could translate that. Oh, 遲啲佢都會講到關於洗禮嘅嚇。Okay, so let's talk about now a little bit more the new covenant. 好啦，而家繼續講多啲關於新約啦。According to Romans four, 羅馬書第四章 ，Abraham's descendants are determined on a spiritual basis. 嗱，阿伯拉罕嘅後裔咧，而家變成一個咧係以屬靈為基礎嘅嘞噃。Even Abraham himself was. Received God's gift of righteousness before he was circumcised, Paul says. Now, Paul, 誒呢個亞伯拉罕咧喺佢自己未曾受過禮之前就已經被稱義啦
And so the promise could not rest on a physical descent and physical circumcision. So, 作為真正誒上帝嘅子民咧，唔係靠嗰個嘅肉體嘅割禮嘅。It's based on spiritual basis。其實係呢個割禮所象徵個屬靈嘅關係。Verse sixteen， 十六節四章 four chapter four right？ Yes， chapter four the last part。So it's to those who are of the faith of Abraham who is the father of us all。OK， 唔單止係歸給嗰個屬於律法嘅。亦都歸給嗰個效法阿伯拉罕之信嘅人嘅。And then Paul explains what that faith consists of in the next verse。嗱咁跟住咧，保羅就進一步解釋啦。He believed in the God who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as existing。阿伯拉罕就係嗰個佢所信嘅就係嗰個叫死人復活、使無變有嘅上帝啊。So again, God who brings life from the dead。係上帝叫人從死裏得翻。Of course, that was prefigured already in Abraham's faith that even if God would require Isaac as a sacrifice, He could raise him from the dead。係啦，阿伯拉罕相信，就算佢欠咗以撒為祭咧，上帝都可以叫佢復活嘅。Hebrews makes that clear. Hebrews 十六節講得好清楚，係咪 ？And、uh, even at Isaac's birth, the same. The de- Paul talks about the deadness of Sarah's womb. God was able to bring life. 嗱，其實以撒出世咧，都好似復活咁噶。佢有一個死咗嘅子宮嗰度咧，一個嗰個嗰個撒拉嘅子宮嗰度咧，突然間走個人出嚟啊。This is, of course, a symbolic of the death and resurrection that God would bring life to us through Jesus' sacrifice. 嗱，所以呢一切咧都係象徵緊上帝藉住耶穌嘅死而復活，將生命帶俾我哋嘅。Faith in Him 係喺佢哋嘅信心。Just as Abraham expressed faith, 就好似阿伯拉罕佢嘅信心嘅表達一樣。In the coming、uh, Messiah， 係對嗰位要嚟嘅弥賽亞。And Paul makes clear in Galatians chapter three， 保羅喺呢個嘅加拉太書第三章亦都好清楚嘅。That Christ is the seed of Abraham， 基督就係嗰個阿伯拉罕嘅後嗣，嗰個種啊。啊 ，verse sixteen， 誒 ，chapter three，verse sixteen。OK， 三章十六節。To Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He does not say and to seeds as of many, but as of one, and to your seed, who is Christ. 第十六节佢话，那些应许原是向阿伯拉罕同佢后裔讲嘅，并唔系话众后裔，而系而系话嗰个后裔一个人就系基督。Christ is the seed of Abraham. He is the one who was promised already in Genesis 3:15. 呢、这個創世記三章十五節嗰個女人嘅後裔，亦都就係呢度亞伯拉嘅後裔。The seed of the woman， 就係嗰女人，就係呢位叫。Would crush the serpent's head。嗰位會打碎蛇嘅頭嘅。And so, as we've seen in the Old Testament prophecies, he was the representative of Israel dying, being resurrected。其實就係呢個基督，佢先就係以色列嘅代表，死而復活。And therefore, we can receive the promise as we are baptized into Christ. 好啦，咁我哋就得到呢个应许咧，藉住洗礼啊，进入基督里边。You see, no longer is circumcision the determining factor of belonging to the people of God. 好啦，而家嗰个象征属于上帝子民嘅咧，已经唔再系割礼啦。It's baptism. That's a very significant difference. 嗱，好重要嘅分别嘅。Because in baptism. There is, as Paul says, no more. You see in verse twenty-eight, this famous verse. And which chapter? Three. Ah, three chapter. Ah, twenty-eight. Ah, twenty-eight. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. 不分犹太人或者希利人啊，唔再分诶奴仆、奴仆或者主人、男女，因为你哋喺基督里面都成为咗一啦。How? Through baptism, as the previous verse mentions, that's how we become united to Christ and belong to Him. 咁样我哋就同基督合一啦，喺基督里面合一啦。And then the next verse says, "And if you belong to Christ, you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise." 既然你哋属于基督，你哋就系亚伯拉罕嘅子孙，照住应许成就产业嘅。So Paul understands, you know, the Hebrew. Uh, uh, Am, ambiguity of seed, of one and many. 系啦，呢度咧就系保罗点样理解咧，一个人同一班人之间嗰个嗰个嗰个异同点。Through Christ, we can become part of that seed, collective seed. 
So we're out of time. I've just come to some conclusions. The church is the continuity of the Israel of God. Just like Paul, you see, he was he in the Romans 11:1, he says, I too am of the seed of Abraham. So he he's an example of this continuity. As he says in Romans 9 also, they are not all Israel that are of Israel. And the church does not displace Israel. So it's not like Israel died and the church then takes its place. There is a continuity through Christ and being united to him. He also was of the seed of Abraham, of the seed of David, right? As we see in, in uh, Matthew's genealogy. And so the church is a continuity of Israel, not the displacement or replacement of Israel. Unbelieving Jewish branches were cut off. Believing Gentile branches were grafted in. And there's only one Israel in the New Testament. One flock with one shepherd. Jesus said, other sheep I have, not of this fold. I have to bring them and there will be one flock and one shepherd. So Jews and Gentiles together. Natural and wild branches in one olive tree. One spiritual temple of, composed of Jews and Gentiles, Ephesians 2. And one eschatological virgin, Roman, uh, Revelation 12. And of course, New Jerusalem epitomizes this, the city as a symbol of God's people. Of all ages, with the, the foundation of the tribes and the gates of the city. Twelve tribes and twelve apostles.